Hi, I'm Fran Chismar, Sultan of Sales at Pinelands Nursery. I'm also the co-host of the Native Plants Healthy Planet podcast. Uh, so the last couple of weeks, there was a huge victory uh, to be had in the form of banning invasive plants. So an invasive plant is uh, a, an exotic plant that's not from this area or, or this, this region or country uh, that it was brought over and it has such ideal conditions that it, it is left unchecked and can take over. It can choke out our, our native um, our, our native flora and can cause cause major damage to our ecosystem. So uh, Delaware banned 37 plants, one of those being English ivy. So I've had a lot of people say, well, English ivy is a ground cover. How can that be invasive? I have it in my yard, but I don't see it popping up in my neighbor's yards. So you have a very good point. So right here behind me you have uh, a mixture of ground covers you have periwinkle and you have english ivy and for this application it was being used for to basically to hold the slope of this erosion you can see it's being neatly weed whacked uh it's being kept out of the yard it's kind of being kept in check so you're thinking all right this really yeah how is this invasive so if you look a little closer you can really see it starting to climb up the fence here. You can start to see it climb up the tree trunks here, uh, the white pine. You can kind of see like the, the weight of it has started to knock the fence over here. Now the fence is older and you can see it's definitely uh, had, had seen better days. So you're like, all right, you know, maybe you should have done a better job at, at, at keeping it off the fence. So if you look at the tree behind me, some of these larger oaks right here, you can kind of see it's it's very well made its way up the, the, the trunks of these trees. And, you know, I've seen conflicting reports whether or not this is parasitic. Uh, some say that it only attaches to the bark and it's really only the weight of the plant that, that's damaging, um, that it doesn't kind of tap into the cambium you can kind of see where where there's no leaves these had been cut before uh it had been controlled they tell you not to actually pull the the old vines off because it could do more damage by pulling bark off so it had already been taken care of once and kind of grew back um you know but i've also seen conditions where you know let's just say this fence you can sign, kind of see it stops two sections had fallen over that were riddled with ivy um those sections definitely had less moisture the, the the wood was far more rotted than than the sections with less and you kind of see this this property here had been left vacant for a few years and you can kind of see how it left unchecked it kind of took over it's getting ready to go into the shed uh it's kind of taken over this dog thing so um it definitely has a very aggressive nature uh and i kind of applaud applaud delaware for doing this there there are native ground covers uh you know there were three ground covers that were banned uh on this uh bill and the other two being periwinkle which if you're not familiar with it this is it right here and you know obviously it's not as aggressive with as the ivy but possibly the ivy kept it in check um and the other one being japanese uh pachysandra the, the native pachysandra procumbens it's, it's a great option for ground cover and that's something you could definitely use in its place if you're looking for something like that so i think this was definitely a great win here's actually a a native rosa sharon this was also banned uh, and this was not planted here it, it volunteered in so what's what's troubling to me is right behind here you can see this beautiful natural area uh oaks and ash and and plenty of birds you can hear the birds in the background there's a dogwood getting ready to bloom and this ivy left unchecked is going to creep into that natural area and slowly invade and take over and make that weaker. Uh, our natural areas are already weak for deer pressure and, and development and, and so many other things. And it's it's important now to make these decisions. And I'm, it's, it's nice to see that Delaware is on the forefront and they've actually done this. So it was a major win. Uh, this time of the year is a great time to look for these invasives if you're going to try to remove them. Uh, you're able to identify them a little bit better. You don't have to rip everything out of your yard that's not native, but start with something that's invasive and replace it with something that's native and help your ecosystem. So for more great tips, make sure you join our Facebook group at Native, Planets, uh, native Plants Healthy Planet. 
And uh, check out the podcast for, for great conversations as far as native plants and invasives. You can find us wherever you consume your podcast, Apple Music, Spotify, Stitcher, and so forth. So thank you again. I am Fran Chismar, the Sultan of Sales at Pinelands Nursery. I'll see you next time. Keep it native.